welcome back to the Tame the Beast server. And as I take care of a little bit of an errand here, give you an update on a little bit of what's gone on recently. The errand in question is I need to get the top of this hill sufficiently lit up to prevent spawns. And I need to do something to prevent the spiders from hanging out up here on top of the hill, whether they spawn up here or not. And for that, I need something that I forgot to bring with me, of course. So we'll head back inside and get some fences. That I collected from the abandoned mine shaft. Alright. Now I should be able to fence off the area and keep the spiders from coming in. Alright. Okay, I'll need to get the tree out of the way. I have to say, I really like the sickle. One of the items from Red Power. It makes clearing leaves and brush and whatnot so much easier. And have no fear, I'm not going to completely clear-cut the area. Just the area around where I've decided to set up a base. I like trees very much. Quite fine, in fact. I just... don't want them too close to base. see where do we got to go over here all right this is the top of my branch mine shaft as you probably guessed and of course I'm wasting all over the place Free food. Alright, that's a little haphazard, but it'll work, and I'll end up uh, setting up some gates in it. But for right now, it'll accomplish my ta my purpose of making sure that I don't have to listen to spiders that have decided to spawn on top of my home. Or wander in from outside or something. Because now that I'm sure they won't spawn on top of there, I can now be sure that they're not going to wander up there casually. Okay, I will need a few more fences. And I think that's the last one I have in here. Yep. Never fear, there's plenty of wood. Okay. Well, I've got a reasonable amount of stuff done without going too overboard and whole hog. Uh, an awful lot of that was actually branch mining. 
well, I think about five or six branches worth. Still need a few more. Another dozen or so ought to cut it. All right. take care of that. I'll have to adjust this and fix how it's laid out later. Right now all I want to do is stop the blankety blank spiders from ending up on the roof hissing and ticking and generally being really irritating. Okay. So things went pretty pretty much Ordinary and normal. As I worked on branch mining and I started to do a little bit of the groundwork for setting up basic machines and such. And then it was announced earlier today that Mistcraft had been added to what we have. And uh, after getting that installed and making sure it was working and getting back on here, I decided to contribute, as several others did, towards the uh, 72 diamonds needed for a link modifier. And so I trotted over to the community base or spawn base or whatever you want to call it to uh, deliver 15 diamonds towards that goal. And my trip over there was actually pretty much uneventful. It was as I started to return that things got interesting. I was not even outside populated area when I got jumped by a couple of zombies and pretty much owned because I hadn't bothered to uh, make any armor or anything yet. I just went over there without anything except, uh, well, a pickaxe, a sword, and a shovel, and some torches. And the diamonds I was delivering. <laughs> so, that's seriously owned. Well, anyway, here's the branch mine. And the branches with the red zycorium blocks have lava at the end of them. This one being the most convenient. Got a pretty decent haul of stuff. I got plenty of gemstones for tool making, a little over a stack of iron, some gold, plenty of coal, uh, more zycorium stuff, and little odds and ends here. Nine diamonds, which I still have left out of the 15. I'm going to go pick those up. I'm going to be needing them. Some cobbles, some dirt and gravel, and of course, some redstone. I'm going to grab some of that, too. All right. Heading back up. Want to do something about getting started with getting some machines going. And I'm thinking to start out with some basic thermal expansion stuff because it seems to be 
pretty quick and easy to get going. And as you noticed in here, this is where I'm planning to put my machine room. I already have a uh, pulverizer and a powered furnace. And I've done a little bit of work with them, but not much. I started out using these hobbyist steam engines, but I decided that I would be better off to switch over to magmatic as quickly and as early as possible. And let's see. I also need to get a storage and sorting room set together real soon, because as you can see, I'm running out of space. I'm keeping stuff over here that I don't necessarily need right away. I have no immediate use for over here. Cobblestone over there and everything else here. So I need a sorting system put together very soon. And that's going to take a bit. Okay, let's see. I need some glass. So I'm going to go ahead and cook up 16 glass. It's probably more than I need, but that way I won't have to do it once. All right, I'm going to do that, and while the glass is cooking, I'm going to come down here. and dig some of this area out. So I have a starting place. And actually, come to think, oh, I'm going to need some smooth stone too. Oh, gone. All right, I'm going to get the glass and smooth stone and a few other things I need cooked up, and I'll be All right, I think I finally have everything together here, so let's go ahead and get about this. I believe it's a glass pane, some redstone, surrounded by smooth stone, gets the computer, and then surround... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Believe that also gets a chest. And if I'm wrong, then I have an extra. All right. Chest, some iron. That gets a turtle. And then we take three of these diamonds and make a pickaxe. And now we have a mining turtle. This is going to be an important part of getting things done. And I'm going to go ahead and make another chest, just so that I can put some of this stuff down and not have to be carrying it everywhere. That's a good place, any, for a temporary throw stuff away chest. Well, not throw it away, but get it out of my way. Now I need to go down to the branch mine, to one of those tunnels with lava in it. And along the way I can complete what I was talking about before. Uh, having gotten killed on the way back from spawn, I of course ended up here because I had set my spawn here. And so I ended up waiting until daylight to make the trip back and while I waited I did what I didn't do before and I used some iron mixed made some armor and uh, then I proceeded to make my way back and And then, along the way, I found a few cows and re relieved them of their leather and beef. And uh, I also came up with some reeds along the way. And with that leather and beef and reeds and 
a little bit of good luck. I made a few books. And so one of the books that I made, I made into a linking book that will go back to the spawn area, which once the uh, link modifier is built, that book will be turned into a book that can follow me and be used within the same age. And I will make another one that does the same thing coming back here. And so on. So that uh, I will have some quick and easy getting killed free or free of getting killed method of getting around that will be a lot handier and I figure that link modifier should be built soon last I knew the uh, donations for that purpose had reached about 48 diamonds out of the 72 required And I know I could do this a lot faster with more buckets, but I'm being cheap. Later on, when there's more resources, I'll be happy to have a whole stack of buckets to do this with. Right now, I'm going to keep this up. Get this thing fueled up as much as the lava I can reach will allow. And then we'll get to the next step. All right. Back up here. Let's not go off the edge. And now we will let the turtle do the mining. Let's see. If I set the turtle right here, oh no, wait a minute, no, 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 not up. Well, let's try to do it without getting caught in the hitbox of a torch. How about that? All right, right there. Tunnel 8. If I can hit the right button. Let the turtle let the turtle do the work. That's my new model. I figure they're easy to make, they're inexpensive, and they take a beating and keep on ticking. Or something like that. Anyway, turtle is going to clear out the area here in a couple of passes because I don't feel like doing it and wearing down my tools when the turtle has a pickaxe that never wears out. Okay. It should be about right about the end of it right there. All right. turtle down and I believe from here I should be able to mine to have them dig another eight And hopefully that won't run into the infinite spring I had up there. If it does, uh, that's all right. Now what I'm going to do is uh, clear out enough room in here so that 
my power generation and uh, water supply and fluid handling and whatnot can all happen down here under the floor and the machines themselves will be up there and of course All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish clearing this out, and I'll be back. All right, this is peculiar. What you see before you is a god-awful mess. Caused by, I have no idea what, but basically, all right, here's what was happening. I was up here. I was headed back down here to go downstairs, and Minecraft froze solid, completely locked up. And it was so bad that I actually had to uh, kill the process and restart FTB so that I could get something done and restart it and get back on. Okay, so I did all that. And when I got back on, this is what I find. It's like these chests exploded, the workbench exploded, the the door got blown off and someone is, it's almost like a creeper walked in and blew up. Although there would be more damage here with the dirt and whatnot, I would think. All right. In all this, I didn't pick up a workbench. I've got four. Oh, crap. A whole bunch of stuff just despawned. Okay. I don't know what the heck is going on here. I don't know why Minecraft is suddenly freezing up for no apparent reason. But it's been doing that for a while now. And uh, this is the first time there's ever been any negative results because of that. Okay, anything else I can pick up and rescue? Probably not. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take a few minutes, try to put this mess back together and... I guess take a guess at what happened. I have no clue. Because uh, the door was shut. I was in here. I was headed down there. And then Minecraft froze up. By the time I got logged back in, poof, everything is just blown up. Chest here was blown up. That was blown up. Or half of that chest was blown up. The furnace was gone. The workbench was gone. And uh, there's this hole in the floor here which I suppose I can find some dirt to fix. So anyway, that's what just happened. And uh, a bunch of the ceiling is destroyed. It, oh, you. I don't have any patience for your kind right now. You know what? Fine. Heck with it. We'll block the doggone door that way. It's very much like something just walked in. Kind of like a creeper walked in and exploded, actually. But a creeper, since I had lost connection, I wasn't on here, a creeper wouldn't have had any reason to explode. Even if one did manage to walk in, he wouldn't have had any reason to blow up because I wasn't there. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take some time, get this mess straightened out, and figure out what the... try to figure out what the heck's going on. And in the next episode, which I think will be fairly soon, I will be getting to work getting these machines and stuff built. 
Anyway, that's what's going on. I'm going to quit while I'm still ahead. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.